This is why I like to go perpendicular to the row so you can see how the whole row splits open there. Yeah. And it gives you a really good look at the furrow and gives you a chance to see if there's sidewall compaction issues. So like if I pull this back, you can see that that's pretty well slicked oh, along right the side. Okay. Yeah, so it was maybe a little wet when uh, we planted out here. And here you can see that this corn plant had a tough time emerging. And it's hard to say exactly what it was that caused the issue at this point, though it could have been something right here at the soil surface that caused it to twist up. Yeah, so this would be some pretty good sidewall compaction. So notice how all the roots are flat right against the wall of the furrow there. And if we would turn off dry and not get good rainfall to help break up some of the soil and have good moisture there, uh, this whole sidewall would basically turn into like concrete. <laughs> and uh, it would only be able to produce roots wherever those roots could go, which is probably gonna be straight uh, forward and backward here in the furrow where it was a little more open. Um, so you can see how flat they are against the edge of that furrow right now. So this is something that, you know, when we do have dryness in the growing season, it, this can haunt us all season long and can show up as uh, stunting in the plants later in the season. It shows up as a really dramatic, uh, looks like nutrient deficiency late in the season. And then when you dig up the plants, you find uh, these roots that we call them tomahawk roots or what else are they referred to as? Hatchet, Hatchet roots. Uh, where basically they only go straight up and down in like a straight line, like this. Yes, it definitely can affect yield, especially when we have uh, stressful conditions during the growing season, um, like dryness. Yeah, so this one you can see it isn't quite as bad, as slicked as the last one, but it is still really tight, right? The fact that we can pick up that furrow, and I literally have half of the furrow right here in my hand that was right there and I can pull that off. Um, we always want that furrow to be able to crumble nicely. Uh, like if I were to poke it, we want it to be able to crumble out. Um, you can see this is planted fairly shallow. Oh, there we go. Check that out, worn coming in tight. Oh, maybe it's not quite as shallow as I thought. So maybe an inch and a half deep, so on a little bit on the shallow side. And this, you know, looks like it's pretty swollen right here. It, oh, and it broke off. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Um, so it was producing roots right here. Not really sure exactly what kind of stress caused that to happen, but I'm betting that the cold temperatures that we had since this was planted uh, did not help. What uh, do you think, oh, Warren? What do you think, Warren? Do you, you see this? Yeah, it had little I roots. It had roots coming off right there. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder if it tried to set up the, can I see that? I mean, it didn't look that like, it doesn't look, I mean it's that so shouldn't. thick that it doesn't look like that's what it should be. Man, that's weird. So we have plenty of plants here. Um, we dug up some that were kind of weird looking and were a little bit behind, but it's always important uh, that we get a check uh, for what normal is so that we have a comparison. So I think even though it hurts me, right, it hurts everybody to dig up a normal looking corn plant, we should dig one up and see what it should look like in this field. Ooh, uh-oh. <laughs> no, don't dig up the don't dig up the normal plant. But look at how nice this one looks. Oh yeah, that's what this okay. is here for. Oh, that was so easy to get in the soil. All right, so we dug that up. So notice how I'm struggling to split that furrow open. I can see where it is, but falls apart really nicely. Not nearly as stressed. Planted deeper, looks like. Once I find the seed here, right. There we go, we were planted right at about two inches in the soil, maybe just a little bit shallow of that. And I can dig it up. Break it apart. 
I'm guessing that that probably was where the mezzacotta was, but it was really thick. Yeah, so it makes me so think weird. that there was something, right, that it got stressed because this is a really yeah. nice, healthy looking corn seedling with its initial uh, root system right here uh, coming out of the seed. And then we have the mesocotyl here. So this is kind of like the lifeline for the plant before it really gets set in the spring. And then it's starting to produce its nodal root system or its permanent root system here, uh, right at the top of that mesocotyl. This root system isn't in that straight line along the furrow, uh, like that first plant that I dug up. Instead, they're nice um, kind of branching out in more of a uh, maybe an umbrella shape kind of right they they're sort of going wherever they're able to to reach through in the soil and you can see how nice and long uh, the roots are and how healthy that root system is compared to the one we looked at first that dirt on my face hey. <laughs> I hope you didn't get audio for that <laughs> liar <laughs>